Excuse me. I'm making Excuse a me. What, what's your name? Mariah, because I carry all that ass. Okay, and my name is Denzel, like the actor, you feel me? I don't know that actor, but sure, I don't watch you TV. Don't... What's the worst pickup line a guy has said to you? Today, today, a guy was like, damn, let me put that whole titty in my mouth. And I was like, ew. The problem with dating is these hoes ain't fucking. What do you look for in a lady? Pussy. What do you think a lady's looking for in you? Dick. So he definitely can't be a boring guy. No. <laughs> if he's not funny, we ain't dating. Literally, trademark this shit, mark it forever. A girl will be submissive as fuck to a dominant male. Be dominant and like control shit and have your shit in order. Your wife, your girlfriend will be submissive as fuck. They better fucking love God or they cannot get the pussy. Ah. How do you feel about that? I mean... No comment. <laughs> what if she hates Tom and Jerry? Are you still okay. gonna talk to her? <laughs> Probably not. Definitely not. No. So you like when a guy takes initiative? No, I'm very dominant. You're very dominant. I'm extremely dominant. So you want a submissive guy? Yes. Do you have any submissive kinks? Um, I like, I like to peg men. Interesting. At the end of the day, we scratch our balls, and that's what we do. I think social media has fucked up the standards. Um. I think that everybody needs to take a step back and look at themselves and realize that we all need each other. Next. Shit. <laughs> That's what you think? Period. <laughs> What's, up, What's the problem with dating apps? Uh, Everyone do just trying to be on there to sleep with each other. And I don't know. How, you think that's a problem? We love you, bud. How old are you, Julie? I'm 26. 26. What is your take on modern dating? It's hell. <laughs> in what Literally way? Really hell on earth. How so? Um, because the standards are set mm -hmm. as a woman, and guys can get away with anything now. Like so what? If you have standards as a woman and you uphold those standards, they will move on to the next girl and get whatever they want. Mm -hmm. So as as a whole, standards for women have lowered. Even if your standards are high as a woman, you it's like you're gonna have to like really, really filter through these men to find guys who want a girl that has high standards. You don't think that there's a double standard to that? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, why, why would there be a double standard? I mean, if I heard you correctly, it sounds like you're saying that guys just think that there's an unlimited amount of options out there, right? Yes. But who's to say that women don't feel the exact same way? I mean, with dating apps, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, you know. So many guys there, one in three guys hasn't had sex in a year, involuntarily. Very interesting. Where are those guys? Probably right here. Bring them to me. <laughs> Real quick question. When was the last time you had sex? Oh, uh, far, far too long ago. I mean, I don't even want to say I'm embarrassed. I'm not no, 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 don't be embarrassed. I'm a question. Do you know when was the last time you had sex? That time what? <laughs> the last time you had intercourse. It's a statistic we're doing here. Uh, nine days ago. <laughs> Alright guys, we're out here in Charlotte yet again. We're asking more questions on modern dating, but we're gonna dive in deeper because we want to know why don't more women approach men? Uh, I think it's just intimidating because like Men can be like pretty mean, especially if they're with their friends and if they're like not interested, they can definitely like just hurt your feelings, I guess, if they're not if they're not into it. I don't know, I think some women are like traditional where they want the guy to make the first move or some girls are just skirt. <laughs> I think it can be intimidating. I don't know why, I just think, I think it can be. But I also think when people, when girls do put themselves out there that guys like it so it's like why are we I don't know I'll approach a guy I have I have no problem with it I, I it just depends if like they're in a group or something you don't want to be coming up to the group as just an individual female and again the rejection piece yeah men were literally like brought onto this earth to protect women and be the protectors we were born onto this planet you are stronger, bigger, faster. You approach the woman, you show them that you can protect them, build a family, whatever. Why else are we on this earth? 
Sure. Right? And so you have to be that person to approach us and show us that you will build a family, whatever. Like, it's in our DNA. Like, that's just, that's, that's, we're bred for that. How do you approach a man that you're interested in? I don't, I just give him the eyes. Yeah, just stare at him. Yeah, just stare at him. Do, do a little, do a little. Yeah, just like that? Yeah, just and like that. It, it always works. Yeah. Yeah, just, just like the literally eyes. Literally look at Little look, you got the right eye, mouth, left eye, you know, just like the triangle. It's like a little triangle, a little yeah. ring. Yeah. Yeah. up and down. Yeah. Have you ladies ever approached a guy? I have, yeah. How do you approach that guy? Well, I mean, I was standing at a bar and I was like, he was waiting there, like trying to order a drink. And I was like, what are you trying to order? That was your game. Yeah, I didn't have a game. It was like a question. Like. And, and so how did that interaction go? I mean, it worked. <laughs> How'd the night end? Great. <laughs> Happy ending. Happy ending. <laughs> well, you know what that means, guys. I saw a guy out once, and I just grabbed, I just saw him walking by, just grabbed his arm, and I was like, hey, which is like the exact way I would want, like, not, just a, hey, how are you? Something as simple as that. You think that would work if a man went around and just grabbed, like, a lady's arm? Know, like, that's what I said. I maybe wouldn't like to be grabbed and maybe I shouldn't have done that but how do you ladies want a guy to approach you I'm more of like sense of humor like you know personality yeah, it's definitely but yeah, sense of humor always like a big thing but my sure. thing is I check shoes first so I'll check and that makes up for everything so shoes and then like <laughs> would you say that the shoes I have on now qualify as acceptable to approach you they're decent it looks like do you work out I don't know do I I don't, I don't know. You have That's muscles. <laughs> what do you think? A little runner. You think I run? I don't know. Maybe. You have running shoes. Unless... Uh, those just look like really comfy shoes. <laughs> you like it when a guy makes fun of you? Banter, playful? Like if I were like, I don't know, you got a you pointy like nose or something. Uh, a pretty nose. <laughs> I said pointy nose, not pretty. <laughs> pointy nose. Pointy nose. Like a witch's like... nose. But in a good way. I'd be like, that's fucked up. Well, you're laughing though. Yeah, but it's fucked up. It's like, my laughing right now, it's like, I can't believe you just said that. It's not like, oh my gosh. Like, if I'm not touching you, if I'm not doing any of that, then I'm not feeling it. If I'm just like, that. What if I said I fuck with your dimples heavy though? Okay, then, I mean. But you still got a pointy nose. <laughs> That's never gonna change. So if I That's if I were my if I were to date you though, <laughs> you just if, out, my if I were to <laughs> if I, like, listen, plasty, I need to find me a rich man. <laughs> <Final plasty. laughs> Hear me out though. Hear me out. If I were to date you though, that is something that I'd have to deal with, and obviously it wouldn't matter to me as a man. You know so what I'm you saying? You want to date a witch? <laughs> the best pickup line is simple. What's your name? You gotta know what her name Hell is. Hell no. Nah. Yes, it is. Hell no. Nah. Look, you over here trying to be cheesy. I gotta get to know her. I ain't what no real cheesy shit. I'm just saying, like. What you gonna do? A line, a pickup line? Cause it's 2022. You don't what do you no doing? pickup lines, nigga. What you mean? Like, what? Like. What pickup line are you gonna what's do? Your phone number? You. Go ahead. Like, Go ahead. What's your phone number? What's your phone number? Ain't nothing. What's your Instagram? That's cool. That's easy as hell. That's cool. Pickup line like that? It's not a pickup line. It's just. That is a pickup line. It's just, what's your name? You what's your best pickup line? My best pickup line? Ooh. Slide up and what? Light skin. Like he hey, light skin. Yo, yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, yeah, get him. Yeah, yeah. I tell somebody like this. Hey yo. Excuse me. I'm gonna get Excuse me. What, what's your name? Mariah, cause I carry all that ass. Okay, and my name is Denzel, like the actor. You feel me? I don't know that actor, but sure, I don't watch you TV. How old are you, girl? I'm 21, but I work. I don't oh, watch yeah, TV. Oh yeah, she's 21. She's 21, but she don't know Denzel Washington. What's your Instagram? My Instagram, babygirl.raya. Right? Yeah. Can I get that? My phone's dead, but I just told you it. All I'm saying is, is that if you get their Instagram, it's over. Is it over? It's over. It's not over. Don't tell me no more answer. Yeah, you are. Do you want a bet? Look at me. I swear on my mama, it's going to go on that request. How do you want a guy to approach you? I don't know. Like, super casual. Hey, I think you're cute, or what are you ladies doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I usually like if a guy is just himself, I don't like pickup lines. So if he just like comes and just starts a conversation or 
like um if he if he sees that i'm drinking something if he asks what am i drinking offers to buy the next one and just like just make it normal don't try to do some like casanova type stuff i don't like that right so you need a guy to just treat you like a human being yeah and like a joke always wins with me because i love to laugh so if i think a guy's attractive and they approach me i don't really care like how they do it to be completely honest but like Compliments are always good, like telling me I'm really pretty or like just saying something like funny to like start a conversation, not just like being super awkward or like, can I buy you a drink? Like, it's just boring, you know. I'm here with Abby, Lily. That's so bad, no way. <laughs> oh my god, no, no. All in the video, boys. What's up, boys? Look, we got the whole squad. We got the whole squad. We got the whole squad right here. What's up? We got a whole goddamn squad. Yeah, you know how we do, baby. Hey, man, do we? Charlotte, whatever the fuck the area code is, you know how we rocking. But we from the 803 originally. Don't get it twisted. Uh, how do you approach a woman? With respect and dignity. Do you think that light-skinned guys have more of an advantage as opposed to dark-skinned guys? Uh, I don't think it's light skin, motherfucking nigga. Light skin, nigga. Light skin, nigga. Light skin, nigga. I think I have an advantage over niggas in general. I'm gonna be real with you. It ain't got nothing to do with light, dark, none of that. Cause dark skin niggas is pretty like you, and it's sure, light skin sure. niggas pretty like me. Sure, sure, sure. We both gonna pull. DJ, how do you approach it? How do you approach a lady, man? How do I approach a female? Yeah. I know. Most of the time, I don't really have to approach. They approach me. So what's the problem with modern dating right now, man? What's the problem with it? Yeah. Women. That's the problem. I am old school as fuck. I think a lot of the issues right now with modern dating is like, I'm old school. So I want a man to, I, I believe in gender roles, right? Like hardcore. So like, I want to come home, cook and clean and my man provide and like do shit. And I feel like I meet men nowadays that are like, Oh, like I can't do that. I make no money. I don't know how to do anything with a car or how to build anything. I can't do anything. I'm like, dude, what are you bringing to the table? Like, why am I making money and own a home and you can't fucking like cock a fucking window? My thing is, I want to be so feminine, but I have to be extra masculine because the men nowadays don't allow me to be feminine. Like, they don't allow me to be my feminine self because they're lacking masculinity. I feel like it's not how it used to be. I feel like everyone's just, their aspect of life is just like, oh, fuck boy, fuck girl. Like, I'm just here to have a good time. It's not like back then how it's like, oh, I see a future with you, you know, kind of thing. It's or just like, 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 or even like technology, the internet, social media. Yeah, it has a big deal about Yeah, it has a big toll on that. And back then, their social media wasn't really a thing, so you'd give someone that time. Yeah, like my Versus parents, they've now, been together like, eh, for years. No, like you're kind of creepy, you're kind of weird, yeah. but I feel like everything's like hookup culture. It's very weird. Nobody has emotional connections anymore. It's all just like, oh, who's got the fattest ass? You know what I mean? Like, who's got the better body? Everybody's just trying to fuck everybody. You know what I mean? Do you think you have a fat ass? Yeah. Show me a little something. You know? So that's a bad bitch Leo dance right that's there. That's a bad bitch Leo. What do you look for in a guy? Just gotta be pretty. Does he have to be taller than you? No, height does not matter. Height does not matter. Neither does size. So you could date a guy who was literally your height? I've dated a guy who was 4'11". So you meet a girl, you go out on a couple of dates, you've been talking for like a month, two, three months. Okay. How long before you're like, okay, I'm gonna make you my girl? I feel like that depends. Me and my girl, me and my girl right here, we talked for like two weeks. And then we started dating. Well, you know, when you know, you know, type shit. You know. So, what I mean? so two weeks, like two dates, essentially, and then you were like, okay, you're my girlfriend now. Type shit, type shit. That's just me and my girl. That's just, that's that's speaking from experience. Right, right. right. With other people, it varies because other people want to take it slow. You know what I mean? But how long y'all been dating now? We've been dating for three years. Three years. Yeah. Interesting. And how old are you, man? I'm 24. 24. Yeah. Word, 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 word. How'd y'all meet? We met on Tinder, actually. Tinder. Interessante, interessante. So you're, you can say that Tinder isn't just hook up only. You it's can not, definitely make some. It definitely depends on the experience. You know what I'm saying? I personally got lucky, but Tinder. A lot of dudes out here be trying to just fucking dip, type shit. So.
So you heard it here first guys, a lot of interesting takes tonight and some crazy action. We've got more coming to you next week. Drop comments below, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what questions you want me to ask more people right here on The Desirable Truth with me. So we're gonna wrap it up right here. Peace, love, sleep in Greece. Like, share, and subscribe for more vlogs, videos like this one, cause Osaze vlogs. I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want after this club. Oh. You know you're nasty. You know you're nasty. Don't move around in my house, try to taxi.